Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the new Rome 390 Boss. That's right, it got a little bit of an upgrade. So let's dive right into it. I rode this binding at Arapahoe Basin in the preseason with a couple inches of heavy, wet pow snow on top of chunder, ice, chunky corduroy, death cookies, and everything in between, and I rode it on my Rome Warden snowboard with my K2 Thraxxus boots. All right, let's talk about the adjustability. You have pretty standard features here. You have your flip cams for lengthening or shortening your toe or heel strap. You have three different placements on a pin system for your toe strap, so you can just push it down and then pull it back up and it'll lock in there as well. You do have high back rotation right here on the sides, as well as forward lean back here on the high back and you can adjust the toe ramp back or forth. And finally, you can adjust the heel cup. You have four screws to do this, two up front and one on each side of the base plate right where the heel cup chassis connects. This just allows you to slide it forwards or backwards to help center your boot inside the binding. When it comes to the straps, you have Rome's Pure Flex heel strap, which is that new age material, so it contours around the boot so that that way the boot can even and consistently flex into the binding. With that said, this does lock you in, but it is also a strap that has a lot of give. The toe strap is the same material with a giant wide cutout. This will fit just about any boot shape, and if you're old school or don't know any better, you can still rock it up over the top. Why you would do that, I don't know, but you can if you want to. Basically, the straps work, they do what they need to do, and you never feel like they're not gonna lock you in. The heel strap fits perfectly right over the instep and just keeps you locked in. The toe strap, as I said, can fit just about any boot shape with that giant wide cutout that it has. The ratchets do what they need to do. They have a one finger quick release, which is very nice. It allows you to just get in and out with ease. They climb exceptionally well. You never really have to worry about them slipping. They stay locked in. They don't prematurely release. Basically, it's a very solid ratchet. You don't have to worry about it. What's nice about the high back is it's actually rigid when you push straight back into it, but over on the side, there's a little bit of lateral flex in there. So if you're tweaking a grab, you know, just getting a little wily, you will have some give, but if you're looking to charge, drive back into your heel edge, it's gonna have that power into it. Otherwise, it's a high back, it does high back things. What more do you kind of expect from it? The forward lean is nice. It's just a little flip cam that sits on a track, slides up and down with ease you can adjust it on the fly if you need to. The overall flex of this binding is a middle of the road park flex that still has some power to it. It gets its power because it has a full wrap chassis around there. It doesn't have that ASIM wrap that other Rome bindings have. This means when you're on the outside of the binding and you're tweaking, you're gonna have a little more power in there. This will help you just transition from toe to heel. You'll notice that there's a little bit more drive, but overall the 390 Boss is a freestyle binding. Those straps, they do have a lot of flex in them. So don't expect it to be a high-end performance-driven binding, but you can charge when you need to with it. The nice thing about this binding is it's predictable. You strap in and you know what you're gonna get. It's consistent. You feel that consistent flex. You feel that when you do need power, there is power. But when you wanna be laid back, you can be laid back with it. So who's this binding for? It's for the park rider that's gonna go all over and wants a little bit of adjustability in their binding, but not a crazy amount. So back in the day, I pretty much exclusively rode 390 bosses when they came out. Since then, they've actually had a few upgrades that make a lot more sense to me, but it still feels like that consistent binding that I rode back then. You knew what you were gonna get with that binding and you know what you're gonna get with this binding. You strap in, and it's a do everything binding with a little bit more of a freestyle focus. It's got power when you want it, but it can be laid back. It's not a demanding binding, but you can be demanding of it. And that's what I like about it. It just does what it needs to do, and it's a solid option from Rome. This has been my review of the Rome 390 bus. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you gonna buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not going to miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. 
And if you really want to help us grow out what we're doing over here and just see us expand our offering, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll continue to be your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.